In our previous video, we learned how to install and configure your own cloud using Server 2012. Right now, we're going to set up SSL certificates on own cloud. That way, the connection to the application is secure. The first thing we're going to do is go to the Start menu and open up Internet Information Services. From here, we're going to click on our server name. And then we're going to choose Server Certificates going to create self-signed certificate. You can create a name. And choose OK. We're going to go to Sites, Default Site, right-click on the site, Edit Bindings, click Add, choose the type as HTTPS, you can use default port of 443 or another if you want. For the certificate, we're going to click the drop down and click the certificate name we just made. Click OK. Click Close. And at this point, we're going to restart the site. And we're also going to open up the PHP config, which is in C, INET Pub, World Wide Web Root. And within this folder, we're going to go to the PHP folder or the config folder and then open up config.php with Notepad. And what we're going to change here is the trusted domains. Currently, the only entry in here is localhost, which is fine if we're accessing the site only from the server. So we're going to add an entry with a single quote and we're going to put the server name or if you have the external IP address and you already have port forwarding turned on you can put the host name that you're going to use so in this example we're going to use alwayson.etssc.com colon 445 in this example we're going to use the IP address of the physical server So we're going to scroll over to localhost comma space single quote then the IP address single quote and save the document. If you didn't do this you would receive an untrusted domain error when trying to open the web portal. And with that being configured, we should not receive that error when opening it up. All right, and we're going to log in here using our regular username and password. And that allowed us access to the site. So if you want to add another trusted domain, you would just go back to the config.php folder file and add the entry here. So we also want to add comma 10 so now we should also be able to access the website securely using HTTPS. And of course we're going to receive this certificate error because the certificate name doesn't match. That's where it's a self-signed certificate. And if you notice it says mismatched address, which is expected. So if we view certificate, it was issued to who it was issued by. It's valid for one year you would want to use a certificate from a certification authority such as GoDaddy that way you wouldn't receive the certificate warning. You've now successfully configured your own cloud installation to use SSL 
you can also go into the admin section and force SSL by enforce HTTPS. So what will happen now is if you try to access just HTTP you automatically be redirected to HTTPS. As you can see it automatically redirected. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.